first, we had two trailers, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Ari Aster's Bo is Afraid. Um, Cam, what were your thoughts on that Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer? Uh, I liked it a lot. One of the, I was just going to say, one of these trailers, I think, gave away too much, as it normally does in one. And one gave away nothing. <laughs> yeah, just Literally nothing. Even more confused than I originally <laughs> was. Um, yeah. here, here's what I'll say about Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer. Uh, I don't think it looks too bad. You know, people say it looks like Spy Kids. It's fine. Um, um, whatever. But... You're the uh, one who tweeted that on the Real Talk account. By looking no, at yeah, I, I, re- I did about <laughs> that's that's where I was going. I no, I didn't tweet that it looked like Spy Kids. I tweeted that uh, Modoc looks like the guy from uh, it, that's Shark Boy and Lava Girl, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, it might be Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah. Yeah. They, Which they, I they're think, very similar. I think it. they also like had comparisons, yeah, to the first trailer um, of Shark Boy and Lava Girl, but um, you know, we got some good things from this, and and I think um. I'm kind of I I love Marvel so much, but I'm kind of just so tired of talking to the masses about Marvel trailers and stuff because I am not going to go into this. Tyler, you tweeted the other day and was like, "I'm going to be disappointed if Paul Rudd doesn't die because they are implying it a lot." I replied and was like, "I'm going to I'm gonna, I might almost be disappointed if he does die because they've implied it so much." And I'm kind of just so tired of like everyone has different expectations at this point and no one's going to be happy. I don't think we'll ever get uh, an infinity war level praise of a movie like for, for Marvel again, like I might enjoy something like one day they might have a movie that I think is better than infinity war, but like the, the sheer masses will not because everyone has their like different. I think, I think infinity war is widely regarded as the best MCU movie. And I think most people agree on that and like it, or if you said that you wouldn't be fought on it too much you know um but i don't think we'll ever get there because it's just everyone has to bitch and moan and everyone has to give their opinion because it's marvel and it's what gets clicks and i totally understand that like i use it for clicks um you know like i enjoy talking about it but like marvel videos do better than an after sun review or something like that you know so everyone has to give their opinion and no one's going to be happy about it and i'm kind of just like I don't know what I want from Ant-Man to happen in this movie. I don't know if I want him to die or if I don't, but like, I'm going to try not to let it affect my opinion on the movie. If what I want to happen doesn't happen, you know, and that's what happened with multiverse of madness. But any thoughts on that? I didn't really talk about the trailer, I guess. No, I, I think that goes right back to the trailer. I think the biggest Marvel problem is their trailers. They give away way too much, which inflates everyone's expectations. So multiverse of madness is just like the perfect example of this Mm -hmm. where people expected it to be this, you know, infinity war level film where they're exploring the multiverse. It's going to be a multiversal threat. And then it ended up being a very like, yeah, what? Well, I just, what was that noise? Uh, Yeah. Sorry. I was just like, he just barked at you, George. I was just thinking, uh, but like, I don't think, like multiverse of madness we still got the fucking illuminati and like different div- i feel like we got enough cameos and people just wanted more that's my thing is like i really enjoy multiverse of madness honestly like but it just seems like it seems like everyone wanted more than what we got but if like like 5 years ago if we would have gotten the illuminati where fucking black bolt is coming back from the the shit in human show people would have lost their mind but apparently now that's like not good enough i guess you know and so i just i don't understand the like pissed off about not getting enough in multiverse of madness just my opinion it's it's the spider-man no way home effect because toby know. and An- toby and andrew is they, they, those that is the two best cameos any marvel movie will ever have it doesn't matter what they do that uh, it will it, not it, pop that they're bringing logan back already i was trying to think of another you know if they bring back the original fantastic four um cast and we see like we see like chris evans as the human torch i think that could be up there it's that's nowhere near it's not no 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 no. it's not not as much as toby and andrew i'm sorry but (laughs) i think it could get a lot it could generate a lot of hype It's, it's not Toby and Andy. Back to the trailer, though. So, yeah, Marvel is widely known for always giving way too much away. The only thing I worry about about this one specifically is, do you guys know, like, that game? I always see uh, people playing on TikTok, like, Synertal or something, where it's, like, shows the entire yeah. movie, but in, like, five seconds, and oh, it goes movie, really fast. Movie deal. Movie deal. So, that, to me, 
like that to me this one felt like that one more than any other one where i felt like we got a clear beginning middle end of this so that's what all i'm hoping for is just that it's not that we didn't just see a sizzle reel of this entire movie and that I, what i'll say is i think i i genuinely like just to like get into like fan theories and i just literally talked about how i hate how everyone gives a fan theory or whatever but i'm not gonna let this affect me if it doesn't pan out my thought is that ant-man and is going to like be stuck in the quantum realm until kang dynasty um for you know a couple of years that's my guess i don't think he's gonna die i think he's just gonna be stuck there or maybe until like secret wars um that's my guess and i think that's what he means by like, we don't i don't have to kick or what is it? I don't have to beat you. I, we just both have to lose or something like that, whatever that line was. Um, that's kind of my opinion is he's going to like sacrifice himself and stay in the, I guess that would kind of be like end game then again, who cares? Fuck it. That's my thought. Yeah. That's my thought. Also, I talked about this the other day. Is it possible to make a good looking MODOK? Probably no. not. Like there's no way you can do that. Seth, do you know what MODOK looks like? Google him right now. <laughs> Google, Google Modoc and tell me if you think this could be um M O D O K. Yeah, thank you. Um what else? Modoc Ant Man or something. No, 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 no. Don't don't Google uh, Ant Man because that'll comics, that'll comics. I've never comics. seen what he looks like in the comics. Holy shit. Yeah, there's yeah, no way to make Tell me comics. tell me you could design yes. <laughs> that's it. That? Um, M O D O K. Okay. That's tell, what I put. Tell me that you can <laughs> design that um, in, in a movie. To a live yeah, action movie you, it's always gonna look stupid it's yeah ridiculous. exactly and so I, yeah see like you're not putting that into live action they're gonna no, they're trying so they're trying it in this movie set cam they're, do you know what on. modok stands yeah. for <laughs> it's no. very corny mechanized organism designed well, only yep, for killing yep yeah that's, that's so incredibly <laughs> you, you there, there's a think reason about people say dc things. comics are way better than marvel comics in terms of like the yeah. when comics. was modok created it was probably like in 19 yeah it had that had that had to be a 1940s type yeah. of thing there's, like, a, there's a tv that's... series of yeah. it as well oh, yeah it's all right let's Patton move on uh 